Haunted houses have always provided a structure for me. I grew up with a father that worked a lot. He wasn't abusive, but he just wasn't ever there. The Castle of Chaos has become renowned for providing one of the scariest haunts in Utah. The kids line up in droves to experience terror similar to what's found in the most frightening horror films. Are you scared? This is his first time to a haunted house. <laughs> yeah. What brought, what brought you to the Castle of Chaos? I had coupons. <laughs> <laughs> but behind the scenes of all the terror and gore, we found another side to the castle that few people know about. Here we found something like a big happy family. Here at the castle we call ourselves a family and we are, um, albeit it it'd be a bit dysfunctional from time to time. I care deeply for these kids. I care that, that what happens to them um, because if and I feel that if I don't care about them, who's going to do it? They can come here, be themselves, have fun. Justin Dauber plays a maniacal lunatic named RJ. You want some? Well, I learned about it from friends, and they told me that it's really a twisted place. Kids love to come and enjoy and just have fun and scare people. And I thought, yeah, I'll give it a try out because I knew that it could keep me out of trouble. You sound like you lost your voice. I have from screaming. <laughs> That's from screaming oh yeah. People. Were you a kid who got into trouble quite a bit? I was. What kind of trouble? Well, I got terminated from Job Corps. I was in Clearfield, now I'm out of here just living on, I'm on my own. And I'm having fun, I'm just trying to make the most of it. Sean Green plays a clown painted with day glow. He cackles as he swings slinkies from his hands. Ever since Rocky Point closed, I started coming here because I didn't feel comfortable anywhere else. Yep. Yeah. Do you come from a tough family life? Uh, to a certain extent. Yeah. But then again, there are worse people out there. <laughs> now in nearly complete darkness, the night vision camera offers us a great look at the faces of terrified kids. You crying far too much. <laughs> It's a good stress reliever, screaming at the top of your lungs. Aaron Orr is a torture victim who spends all night screaming in agony. So it's like therapy, huh? Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> the other actors are awesome, make friends. It's really been fun. The sets, gore, masks, and makeup are all made by people who have produced countless horror movies and films, such as Pirates of the Caribbean. Tim Sabuku probably has the funnest job. Who's next? <laughs> come on over, come on over. It's just a massive stress reliever. It's a lot of fun. What's so stress relieving about locking people up in coffins? <laughs> um, well, I guess it kind of keeps me from doing it in real life. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> he plays altar boy. Marilyn Manson looking psycho who disposes of bodies. <laughs> Dan, 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 Dan. So close this lit. I'm serious as a freaking heart. Well, no, that, this is pretty much my social life. So there, there's a lot of friends that come here. And... <laughs> uh, life can be very, very. Uh, uh, hard. Um, you can have issues with peer pressure. If you can't find it at home, you know, where are you going to get it? And I always found that, that outlet or that, that place for, for guidance to be at the haunted houses. What do you think about John? He's an awesome guy. I mean, <laughs> there's not a whole lot you can say about him. He's just a great guy. He's very, very friendly and very good person to know. So. I mean, this is the scariest part of the castle. I get into a small coffin his altar boy locks me in. While the joy of scaring people must be cathartic, it's the friendships that keep the volunteers coming back. <laughs>